a place like Buffalo, New York, has such a rich history that you can't move forward without acknowledging the past and the people and um, the things that led up until now. And so when you look at the, the mural, it has contemporary architecture, but it also has, you know, City Hall, which is one of the, the first buildings. Um, the same way that when you look at the people, it has people that are here today, and it also shows people that were the soul of the city that, you know, that are no longer with us. And so um, Walking Back Time seemed like an appropriate title for a city like Buffalo because so much of the history of Buffalo eclipses the, the current that I think that as, as Buffalo tries to find its new voice, a lot of times you look to the past to try to figure out what you're about, where you came from and where you're going. downtown Buffalo on Washington Street and this is the home of, of Logan Hicks new mural Walking Back Time. He's considered one of the premier stencil artists in the world. Logan made a number of trips to the city where he spent late nights photographing the region and from those photographs he creates stencils. Each time Logan wanted to paint one layer he would cover the entire wall in stencils and then he'd have to go through and meticulously paint all the details. That layer would come down and he'd put up another layer. This happened six times over in the creation of this mural. Each layer took a full 12 or 14 hour day to complete. This wall has over 500 stencils on it. It's one of the largest murals Logan's ever painted in his career and is second only to when he painted the Bowery Wall in New York. All of the individuals in the mural are, are related to Buffalo, are either from here or live here, um, but some are, are living and some are past. And it kind of tells the story of Buffalo's history um, alongside its great architecture. I, I feel like it kind of reinterpreting reality presents it as as though it were an actual, you know, photograph or a realistic painting. It just kind of helps people kind of step into the to the mindset or the idea or the belief that, that I'm trying to to put forth. When technology meets at the crossroads of creativity, some of the more exciting things come out of it. Fighting against the medium of stenciling while trying to incorporate the reality of the city, although challenging, I'm really happy with the result, the way that it came out. And and, and my, my hope is that when I when I paint a mural that the city that people have been living in for ever how long, or maybe the building that they walked by a dozen times, maybe for a second they'll stop and take a look at it. You know, when you look at the, the way that the light rakes up on a building at night, you know, sometimes people don't see that because they only go there during the day. And so I, I try to help people reimagine the city that they're living in. I try to help people sort of see the environment that, that gives the city its character. Mm -hmm.